Good morning, Empire Oak students. This is Mrs. Perenzen and your student leadership class representatives with your Monday morning message. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute, pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Empire Oaks. I'm Jocelyn, class representative from Miss Wen's class. This week, Tuesday, we'll have our second class rep meeting in room 22. Have a great week and a spooky Halloween. Make no secret, we'll have sweet success on October 31st. Okay, students, this week's Sunday story is the old classic Strega Nona, read to you by a very special guest reader. So please check it out when you have time this week and think about how that story relates to our character trait of responsibility. So October's character trait is responsibility. So this week's second step message will be on responsibility. So first of all, what is responsibility? We have a few different ways that we talk about responsibility. There is being responsible, taking responsibility, acting responsibly, and having responsibilities. So these are all related to things we are supposed to do and accepting the positive or negative outcome of our actions. A quick definition of responsibility is being responsible means you do the things that you're expected to do and accept the consequences or results of your actions. So let's break that down a little bit more. What is a responsibility? A responsibility is something that you are expected to do. A responsibility might be a task that you're expected to do. For example, your parents expect you to brush your teeth. Brushing your teeth is a responsibility and it's your responsibility to brush your teeth every day, hopefully twice a day. Another task example is that your teacher expects you to finish your classwork on time and do your very best job. So it's your responsibility to do your classwork. A responsibility might also be a way that you are expected to act. For example, your parents expect that if you go play at the park, you'll play in a way that won't seriously hurt yourself or someone else. It's your responsibility to have fun and be safe and kind to others when you're at the park. Okay, why is being responsible important? When we act responsibly or we do things that we're responsible for doing, we have a positive consequence. A consequence is what happens as a result of our actions. When you're responsible, you have a positive outcome and you get the positive consequence for a job well done. If you're irresponsible, you feel the pain of a negative consequence for a job done poorly or maybe not at all. Being responsible leads to more trust and freedom because people know that they can count on you to do the things that you're expected to do. Being responsible can also be a big part of keeping you safe. This week, I wanna talk about how we, how we are responsible for ourselves, including our bodies and our actions. So let's think about that. Um, taking care of your body is a big responsibility. Setting a routine helps us remember to be responsible. Establishing a morning routine sets you on a path for success for that day. So some examples of things that you might do in your morning routine are make your bed, get dressed, eat a healthy breakfast, brush your teeth, comb your hair, be on time for school. Okay, those are a few examples. And some of you do all of those things every morning and we are just talking about how those are responsibilities as part of a morning routine. Some examples for a routine at school might be um, listen and stay actively engaged, follow directions, complete your classwork. Okay, those are responsibilities at school. 
So remember this week we are focused on responsibility and being responsible for ourselves, for our bodies and our actions. Cinderella saw about her playing football. She ran away from the ball. <laughs> Today's quote is from Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. Some people want it to happen. Some people wish it to happen and others make it happen. Please make sure to wear your Empire Rogue Spirit shirt or Good Vibe shirt on Friday. Have a good week. Okay, students, that's it for this week's announcements. Stay positive, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful week. Hey, see Sunny. Oh, what was that? You see Sunny. You see her. Look at Sunny. Say hi, Sunny. Say hi, Mama. Hi.